Hi, Earth Signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Welcome to your September forecast. Um, we're going to do it by element this month. So be sure to watch all your placements, any other placement you want to watch, any other sign you want to watch. Keep it in mind, take messages as they resonate with you, and hit that like button for me. Subscribe if you haven't. Thank you. All right, let's just dive right in. I'm going to be doing timestamps starting with Taurus. Taurus. What's going on for Taurus placements in September 2024? What does Taurus need to know? Okay. So what's going on for Taurus? Bottom of the deck, we have the King of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces could be significant for you. Uh, a business man or business woman could be significant for you. Uh, important negotiations could be taking place. Beginning of the month, we have the Five of Wands and the Five of Cups. Oh boy. Um, now this could be missing out on something, losing a battle or a competition or a bid or an application process, missing out on something. Could also be an energy of feeling excluded Not necessarily getting kicked out or something, but like feeling left out. It could also be an energy of comparing yourself to others and you feel like you're, you're not doing well enough or you're not doing as well as other people. Whether that's in your job or with your money situation, just be mindful of that. Everyone's on their own path. It's not good. It's not a good idea to compare yourself to others. Um, because it's not a level playing field. You know what I mean? Let's keep going. Second week here, we have the Queen of Wands and the Seven of Cups. So in the second week, either you're getting your mojo back or there's a fire sign, Aries Leo Sagittarius, that's presenting you with options, with choices. This could also be where someone catches your eye or you catch someone's eye and there's a lot of online investigation or communication. There's an important conversation here, a meeting, a negotiation. Um, so if you're missing out on something in the beginning of the month, try not to get too disheartened. Just, just keep your options open because around the second week, there's new possibilities that are made available to you that you didn't have in the first week. There's something better, basically. Let's keep going here. On the third week, we have the Five of Pentacles, geez, and the Ten of Wands. Taurus, what do you got going on? Again, this energy of feeling left out, feeling like you're not good enough. I'm seeing a move, a reluctant move, moving out of a place, moving away from an environment, leaving a job. If that's the case and you're dealing with a, a fire sign, or a water sign, it's because you can't trust them. They lie or they have addictions. This could be someone you've tried to help and it's just a burden on you. They don't seem to be getting better. That's because they have to help themselves. Nothing you do is really going to make a difference. They have to make the changes. And I feel like it could be the, the time when you're just walking away. You're just taking your hands off it, pretty much letting someone hit rock bottom because you understand that that's what needs to happen. Oh boy. For those of you, you could be helping someone through a really difficult time in their life. Ending the month, we have the Eight of Cups and the Three of Wands. So this is where we embrace what needs to happen. Like I say, Eight of Cups, we detach, we release, um, move on, move away. As soon as we do that, there are new options presented, three of wands. There's positive energy here, there's optimism, there's curiosity, there's interest. So I just get this energy of either you having to accept that you can't fix something, you can't help someone, you can't um, continue with something, that you're trying to keep going but you're on your own. 
I don't know if it's supposed to be a joint effort or a team effort, and it's just a one-sided situation. For others of you, this is where you're you're kind of you you've been trying to impress someone, uh, win someone, get them to choose you, get them to see you and you're dealing with someone who's a bit of an e egomaniac and they just nothing you do is good enough for this person that's why you feel so crappy pardon my French um, and it could be that you're finally with the help of a friend or with the help of a listening ear or or you see something you read something something really stands out to you and you're realizing you know what why am I doing this to myself and as soon as you stop trying to please that person you've got new You've got messages, communication, opportunities, invitations coming to you that are new, okay? Because whoever this is, they've been blocking your flow of abundance. They've been a black hole in your life, unfortunately, okay? So, I hope this makes sense. I hope it helps if you're dealing with this kind of situation, Taurus. Okay, be sure to watch all your placements. All right. Moving on to Virgo. Hey, Virgo, how you doing? Let's see what we got going on for Virgo placements. Happy birthday, Virgo. In September. Virgo placements in September 2024. Be sure to watch all your placements and hit that like button for me if you haven't already. Seven of Wands, but it flew out in reverse. Giving up on something, throwing your hands up. Because it's too much, you can't take it, you can't handle it, you don't want to handle it. Five of Cups, walking away from something like that. Or someone. Virgo in September 2024. Yeah, I just get like, what am I fighting for? And just going, whatever. Give up. Bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Cups. This could be new love, inspiration, a message, an invitation, compliment, positive feedback, offers coming your way that make you happy, new romance, or apologies. Let's see. Coming into the month, we have the Ace of Wands and the Four of Cups. Yeah, this is a determination to try something again. Um, it could be in the form of this apology. Um, someone's really motivated, someone's really driven to start something with you, start over with you. Um, for those of you, this is a new offer, a new opportunity coming in after you've kind of given up on it. Or when you're not looking, or it's coming from a direction you're not looking in. Okay? So just keep an open mind. Week two here, we have... Ace of Cups and the Hermit, your energy. That Page of Cups is finally reaching you. That's the Ace of Cups there. There's definitely, there's new love, renewed love. Um, you have a choice if you accept someone's apology, if you accept, you know, give them a chance to make amends, uh, start something over, try something again. I feel like you're not decided with the Hermit. You're thinking about it. You're going to think about it. Could be dealing with another Virgo or a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. For those of you, this is um, talking to an expert about how to do something, how to start something. You're getting help because you've been trying on your own and it's not working or it's not getting you where you want to be. So you're just going to get some additional input, someone's expert opinion. You may have to pay for someone. to share their wisdom, their knowledge, their expertise. It's gonna be great news in terms of new job, new home. Um, this could be tests, as in medical, could be to do with pregnancy or fertility. Um, endocrine system, heart um, circulation. Interesting. Third week, six of pentacles and the two of cups, wow. There's a healthy give and take here, Virgo. If you're giving something a chance or something another chance, there it's more balanced. There are new rules. It's more balanced. There is healthy give and take. It's not one-sided. Hopefully it lasts, but it looks great. Like I say, someone really wants to 
make something happen with you, they're really pursuing you here or making amends, trying to start something over, trying to uh, prove themselves to you, trying to win you back. For those of you, this is an important meeting, an important negotiation here. You're receiving gifts or you're giving gifts because you have this new thing here, this new blessing in your life. So you could be um, taking people out to celebrate. This could be going on a date as well. Interesting. Fourth week, we have strength and the three of pentacles. Yeah, like I say, this is, so if it's a new thing or if it's a renewed thing, it's solid, it's healthy. There are boundaries, there are healthy boundaries, there are healthy limitations here where, you know, this is allowed, this isn't like boundaries. Um, and there's the desire, there's mutual interest, there's cooperation, there's a desire towards a common goal, there's work being put together, um, put forward towards a common goal. So Virgo, this is really good. You've either got something new coming in after you've given up on it, or trying something again and this time succeeding but again it's to do with you getting new information new input new advice and it's going to work this time for those of you this is um something coming in unexpectedly you may have a choice between two things for some of you two things two people two offers something you were hoping for and something you didn't even see come in But there's something, there's a new source of happiness, abundance, inspiration, passion in your life in September. It's beautiful. It's a new partnership here, a new collaboration, something that is healthy, mutual. Okay. Keep us posted, Virgo. It's a great reading. I'm going to leave it there. Watch your other placements as well. And hit that like button if you haven't already. Okay. Okay. Moving on to Capricorn. Hey Capricorn, how you doing? Let's see what you have in store for throughout the month of September. Or what September has in store for you. Capricorn placements. Be sure to watch all your placements. Hit that like button for me if you haven't already. And I'm looking forward to your feedback. What's going on for Capricorn placements in September? Ooh, okay. Three cups, nice celebration, dates, get together, socializing, lighthearted times, happy times, fun, spontaneity. Capricorn in September 2024. All right, bottom of the deck, we have the two of swords. Sorry, my voice is going. Um, the two swords could be a no contact situation. The two swords could talk about an impasse, having to make a decision you don't want to make. Um, it could also talk about you just being withdrawn. Maybe you're spending more time on your own. You're putting your phone on silent more often. Coming into the month, we have the Ten of Wands and the Six of Cups. Um, for some of you, this is pregnancy happening or giving birth, okay? Um, for others of you, this is someone from your past trying to reach you. You may have this person blocked or you just don't want to talk to them. This is someone very burdened by what they said or didn't say, what they did or didn't do. For others of you, you could be decorating or moving. Um, working extra hard because you're planning to take a holiday so it's like I want to just get everything done before I go second week we have the five of cups and the knight of wands so here's that trip now it could be traveling could be relocation there's a loss here there's a there's a disappointment if it's this person from your past, I feel like they're trying to, really trying to contact you, you may have to actually tell them no or um, 
for some of you are hearing them out and it kind of just makes you relive what they did. And for those of you, this is either they're turning up at your door or they're sending you something, a gift or flowers or a letter or something because they can't reach you any other way. There could also be a change in your environment or you have to move, you don't want to move, but you have to for whatever reason. You didn't want to walk away from a job, but you have to, you're left with no choice to do with some sort of restructure or to do with them cutting back. Or if this is, um, it's a situation where you kind of have to go on maternity early and you're gonna get less money, something like that. Oh nice, third week, here we go, the sun and the two of wands. For some of you, there's a baby coming in September or there's a baby coming early. Okay, I mean, everything works out and healthy and everything, but um, yeah, you're gonna have to change some plans really quickly. And you may experience some loss and that could just be, you know, I was planning to go on that trip and I won't, I won't be able to, I lost that money or, you know, the tickets, they're not refundable or whatever it is, something along those lines. For those of you, if you're losing or missing out on or being kind of forced out of um, a job or a project or collaboration, there's something new coming in around the third week. My voice is going. Around the third week, there's something coming in that is just so much better. And it's something, again, there's an unexpected element to it. You could be hearing from someone you used to work with. You could have history with this person or this could be a family member, um, someone you went to school with. They're telling you, hey, there's this offer going, there's an opportunity going, there's this application going, there's, you know what I mean? And they put you on to it and it's something that's just perfect for you. Fourth week here, we have the King of Cups and the Six of Wands. Yeah, see? So then if you're going through any sort of application process or recruitment or bidding or whatever, this time you're going to be victorious. You get the job, you get whatever it is you're going for. Now the Sun with the Six of Wands in your reading can talk about popularity, even fame, recognition. Um... For some of you are changing management or uh, people representing you and that's the turning point okay because the people you have been with you've been with for a long time but they're just not doing it for you they're not getting you work they're not getting you seen they're not getting you what they're supposed to be getting you whatever the situation is and so when you walk away from them or they could be dropping you you know they're going it's not lucrative to represent you but you know what they're not doing the work but whatever if that happens, you're getting new management, new representation, and this person's really in your corner. They're gonna get you seen, they're gonna get you promoted, they're gonna get you work, okay? It's pretty cool. Either way, it's, it's a good month. It's a good month, Capricorn, okay? So I hope this helps. Let me know, looking forward to your thoughts, your feedback. Hit that like button if you haven't already, watch your other placements. Have a fantastic month, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.